Hey guys, Cam here from todaysiphone.com with a video review of the Logitech Ultra Thin Mini. This is essentially the ultra thin keyboard cover but for the iPad Mini as you can tell. Now obviously, first and foremost it's a keyboard but the great thing about the ultra thin keyboard cover is that it's also a case for your iPad, it protects your screen. Uh, it uses the magnetic hinge on the side and it also utilizes the magnets on the front of your iPad which auto wake or send your iPad to sleep. Now if we look at the design of the keyboard you can see that most of it is made up with keys at the front here and then you've got a little ridge where you rest your iPad and then the back is mostly just wasted space but I'm guessing the battery is inside there. The keyboard itself is quite condensed because it's for the iPad mini obviously they had to try and get everything as much as they could inside a smaller frame. Now with the lettering the letter buttons themselves are actually not that much smaller if any smaller than the, le the letters on the full size Logitech keyboard for Mac. You can see if you ch compare the squares on here you compare the actual letters there's not a huge amount of difference on there but obviously there's a, a lot smaller space in between the keys and what they've done to utilize the space as much as they can is that they've removed certain keys or not removed them but moved them to somewhere else or made you use the function key which is right here in the bottom left uh, you need that to use a caps lock and tab for instance by pressing function and Q um, and all your bespoke iOS controls are all along on this numerical keypad right at the top here uh, they will require you to press function that only applies with certain commands now the home button has its own dedicated button as you can see if I place that in here I press home and you can see it has the desired effect. Um, it's also got a lock key but then again you need function for that. You press function and one and it locks. The way this attaches to your iPad is by using this magnetic hinge on the front here. You can see it's attached to the side, the edge of my iPad mini and you simply just shut it as you would a notebook. Now one thing I really really liked about this was that the the metallic cover on the back matches exactly the colour of the slate on the back of the iPad. The texture's the same, the material's the same, it's aluminium or aluminium if you're from the States. The only way that you can tell which part is the iPad really is that this has got the Apple logo on it and this has got a Logitech logo on it. It really fits well, it's fantastically well designed, you can see the design here is virtually seamless and it's easy to open just make sure you open it the right way up i.e. with the keyboard with letters facing up and you place it simply in the hinge like so typing experience has been good um, like I said the keys are obviously condensed so your hands do feel a little bit more cramped uh, it takes a little while to get used to and um, something that I noticed that is because I was never really taught to type properly I always use the caps lock for putting the capital letter at the start of my sentences or the start of proper nouns uh, I've had to readjust my typing which I guess is a good thing uh, to using shift and then the letter because it's much easier than pressing function caps and then a letter in terms of performance you're gonna get a good three months of battery out of this uh, before you need to charge it it doesn't take long to charge it's fantastically lightweight, it fits into pretty much any bag you could wish to carry. It's very, very portable and thanks to its size, it doesn't add a lot of bulk onto your iPad. Now we go on to the negatives, one of the things I found to be really a little bit frustrating and I didn't really get used to it, was the fact that the iPad itself hasn't got a very generous angle as it were. It's quite steep, um, especially for something so small, you find yourself either having to work with it quite far away from your face, hello there, um, or um, you're hunching your back so you can see on the screen and if you're doing that for long periods of time writing long reviews like I did with this one uh, it can get quite uncomfortable, it's not exactly great for my spine um, so I would not recommend using it for hours upon end unless you're shorter than I am um, but you will notice that the, the viewing angle isn't optimal the other thing I'd like to see improved is the same as what I thought about the bigger ultra thin is that I would rather the bespoke iOS command keys all had their own separate row above this and the iPad was pushed back and slightly narrow, slightly narrower angle not steep um, that would also push the iPad away a little bit and it would give me a little bit more room it wouldn't make me feel as claustrophobic when I use it overall I'm really really pleased 
Considering the size of the iPad mini and the size that the keyboard had to fit into, Logitech's done a fantastic job of getting this to work as best they could and I, I honestly can't praise it high, highly enough. Um, it's been a really good keyboard and it's, although it's not something I'm going to use every day, in an emergency if I need to take my iPad mini with me because I haven't got much space, I would have no problem at all using this case. It gets a very, very solid TIP rating of 9 out of 10 just because they've been able to do something so amazing with so little room. I'm really pleased with it. Anyway, if you want to ask me any questions about this or any other cases or keyboards, please feel free. I'm at TIP underscore cam on Twitter and I will see you again soon.